So how to vet a guest opportunity. It is the same way I vet guests. I actually do it the same way, but obviously you're checking out their show. So the first thing that I do is go check out their show. If they're not posting weekly or consistently, different if it's a brand new show, I have different criteria if it's brand new, but if they're not promoting consistently and publishing consistently weekly, I just say no, like it's just it, it's done. If it's an under 30 minute show, I say no, because that's not enough time to build that trust that we talked about, because you have to start all over again every time you do a show it's now just a social media strategy. So if you do want to, if they claim that they're going to TikTok their seven minute show, you know, and they're going to TikTok all the clips or YouTube short the clips, that's maybe what you want it for. But it's not for a guest appearance because it's not going to give you enough opportunity to do anything with long term trust building. So that's my second criteria. Then the third thing is has to match to what I want to accomplish. So if I want to be associated with, women business leaders in tech, is this show aligned with that? So I want to make sure it's an audience match or a topic area match or an authority match for me because I don't have a ton of time and I want to maximize the value I'm going to get out at the other side of it. So that's that's that third piece for it. Or if you're weak in a certain area, in other words, you need more Instagram visibility. And this person happens to do a really good job of promoting their show on Instagram, then agree to do the show, right? So like if you're, whatever your missing pieces or your alignment is, that's what your third vetting piece would be. And then the last thing that I do is check that is to say, do they have a website? Do they have a home base? Are they going to be able to create a cross connection for me? That's search engine optimized link back, because if they aren't even putting it on Google in some way, shape or form, I'm actually not going to get any ranking value, search engine value for it. The caveat being said that we talked about this before, if it's a brand new show and they're pitching me to be one of their first five episodes, the first 10 episodes, I pretty much, unless they seem like they have zero business, they seem like they have no credibility, like they just popped onto LinkedIn, I pretty much give them the benefit of the doubt and say yes. But that's because I do know that the first 10 episodes of any podcast are going to be the most listened to long term. So even if they only make it 10, mine's going to get listened to and that's worth it to me.